Once you start having an opinion and criticizing Hollywood, guess what they seem to call you? They call you toxic. The name's Avenger. The toxic Avenger. So today, we're going to break down why the rings of power Amazon Studios think you're dumb and toxic. What up YouTube, it's your boy Fader J. Back like I left something and I'm glad you're here. Yes, I'm glad you're here. We're going to talk about how OneRing.net is criticizing you for having an opinion and think you're benefiting and monetizing things in the YouTube algorithm because of your dislike of the Ring of Power trailer and the changes to anything that has to do with Tolkien Middle Earth lore. But before we get into that, Make sure to watch this video all the way to the end. That is very important. The goal for the Fatal J channel is to get to 10K. And we're so freaking close. So watch this video from the beginning and to the end. That is what helps the Fatal J channel in the algorithm. And we're going to be talking about the algorithm with this Rings of Power stuff and what they're accusing YouTubers of doing. Also, Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit that notification bell. Because every time you hit that notification bell, it makes your boy Fatal J feel oh so good and oh so swell. Yeah. Also, besides the like button, make sure to hit that super thanks button. All I'm asking you for is a $1 donation. It does great things for this channel, better equipment, and I can make more of a fool of myself for you. Shout out to my Patreon, shout out to my members. If you wanna join that, the links are also in the description. Now let's get into the madness with this One Rings of Power, One Ring.net fiasco that's going on. Now, one ring.net they're out there acting a fool again not to be confused with one ring.com this is a fan site that they claim that they was all about the fans and no matter what the opinions are and all this type of stuff they was for the fans but i think they are um in amazon's pocket Anything that goes against Rings of Power, One Ring.net has proven and shown that they're fighting for Amazon and they're against you if you have something to say about them. But it's just so crazy out there because all fans are complaining about is the changes. Tweak the changes, man. Respect token. You have to understand these Lord of the Ring books did not just come out in the early 2000s or in the 90s. No. They've been out since the 50s and the 60s. That's why the hardcore is so strong. That's why it's so many dislikes on this Reigns of Power trailer because this is a fan base that's been here longer than Star Wars, longer than uh, Marvel, longer than DC. It's been here for a very long time and fans do not play with this stuff, man. They rather see a big backlash and just shoot down anything that Amazon Studios and Rings of Power have to offer us then to see the changes in the disrespect. Because when you understand Middle Earth lore, when you understand the detail that Tolkien put into these books, the love of these books, just how he just changed the whole scope of fantasy, then you will understand why fans feel the way they do. But shout out to Bounding Comics. They came out with this article right here. And shout out to my Dark Council brother. <laughs> Mark with a C for bringing this article to my attention. Make sure to subscribe to my brother because he brings the dopest content known to man when it comes to real world and pop culture news. Make sure to subscribe to him now, like right now. But shout out to Bounded Encounters for coming out with this article right here. Let's take a look at this article because this article right here, it gets crazy, it gets nuts, and they pretty much are bombing on OneRing.net. Let's check it out right here. Let's see what they say. It says, the Lord of the Rings fan site describes fans critical of the Rings of Power as toxic and they questions their fandom. The OneRing.net, not to be confused with the OneRing.com, continue to attack the Lord of the Rings fans 
critical of Amazon Studios' upcoming the Rings of Power series and even question their fandom. Now, you can look at the Rings of Power trailer and see how many dislikes it is compared to the likes. This has never happened before. Even with Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker, or even with the J.J. Abrams Star Trek movies, when they drop a trailer, no matter how many people are disgusted with the last movies that came out or whatever, or, or if it's a big backlash, you never see a dislike that strong. But I truly believe the dislikes is so strong is because you have those hardcore token fans that's been waiting all these years for this stuff to come to light. And when you see the disrespect, they smashing that like button in Hollywood and Amazon studios and these rinky dink fan sites like one ring dot net can't take it. Let's continue. Um, it says right here, this young lady, she shot a tweet. This is what the tweet, the tweet said. Uh, Kate Tinbarge, now she has a blue checklist. I'm guessing she's some kind of star celebrity. I don't know who she is. But it says content creators of all genres are pivoting to cover the Depp Heard trial. Reading, writing the algorithm to millions of views. I spoke to one 15 year old boy who went from Elden Ring streams to trial coverage. He's now at 22 million views and counting. Let's continue with this from OneRing.net because they replied to this lady and this is key to the video. Watch this. Sharing this for all our fellow Lord of the Rings enthusiasts and media outlets who might get discouraged by toxic token takes on YouTube. It's the algorithm fault and does not represent an honest view of our fandom. Um... Let me explain to you. I'm tired of people saying algorithm this and the algorithm that. They don't understand what the YouTube algorithm is. The YouTube algorithm, just a quick lesson, is pretty much laws that YouTube placed into YouTube. Uh, for instance, it used to be if you had a big gigantic channel, the algorithm would tell, uh, um, it would direct the traffic to their videos instead of a smaller channel uh, with less views, uh, instead of sending them that way, they always send it to the big channel based on the views and the subscribers that they have. So the small YouTubers would never have a chance. Now the algorithm has changed where the algorithm is telling uh, YouTube, is, is the laws are telling YouTube, it doesn't matter the subscribership. It doesn't matter the views. If people are watching the small YouTuber for a very long time, we're going to send some traffic over there too. Uh, it doesn't matter about subscription. That's why you now you have videos, uh, you have YouTubers who are very small that can hit 100,000 like, like this channel right here. I did a Lord of the Rings video, I hit 100,000. I'm only at 8,000, but the algorithm has changed. The algorithm does not go by uh, hate or it doesn't go by likes or this YouTuber right here. It's only laws that they give to YouTube. That's the best way I can explain it. So when you see stuff like this from OneRing.net, they have no clue what they're talking about. Let's continue. Uh, it says right here, this behavior from the OneRing.net is not surprising. The website is a fork tongue as grimma war term, warm tongue. Now you already know about warm worm tongue. He was a traitor. He was a traitor. He was he was uh, acting like he was with the, the, the king of Rohan, but you know he was working for Saruman. He was a traitor. OneRing.net, they are traitors. They don't care about the fans. They could care less about you, and they're calling you toxic. And don't ever think that Amazon doesn't feel like this. They are the puppets for Amazon. They are speaking for Amazon. They love the one ring that net. It follows the agenda of what the show, the showrunners want the fans to think. They want them to be mindless draws. Let's continue. It says right here, back in February, they claimed there was a safe haven for debate while at the same time calling fans critical of the rings of powers as racist or orders. Uh, if there was any doubt the claim they was a safe haven had any shed of validity, Toy was exposed as a lie again when they decided to call fans toxic and are now even applying some fans aren't really fans because they happen to not cover the Lords of the Rings every single day. It doesn't matter if they do one video about it. 
if they feel like this is a horrible thing that's going on, which it is, then they have the right to have an opinion. What happened to the day of age where we didn't have we didn't have an opinion? We just had to be minus draws and accept the crap that these studios give us, the agenda crap that these studios give us. You don't have to take that crap. Fans, you're doing an excellent job. Keep bombing on these dudes and showing them and proving to them why this show is horrible and disrespectful to J.R.R. Tolkien. You guys let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Do you think One Ring.net is for the fans or do you think they are against you and think you're stupid? I'm going to tell you right now. Amazon and One Ring.net think you're stupid. They want you to shut up and just enjoy the show and make them money. Get back at your boy Fader J. Make sure to like. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit that notification notification bell because every time you hit that notification bell it makes your boy fader j feel oh so good and oh so swell i'm out of here yeah ninja vanish how we do yeah i said um check me out